energy conservation is at the heart of modern building design today. Air conditioning, in particular, accounts for 60% of total energy used and therefore is a crucial factor in the building design. The radiant cooling system removes heat gained from solar and other sources, absorbed through the cooled floor structure, walls or ceilings. The heat will be absorbed, effectively transferred and redirected outside the room. One innovative way in energy conservation for air conditioning may be done by water-based radiant cooling system, where pipes are embedded in the concrete slabs absorbing radiation heat load in the building and its core properties using the same volume water has four times more capabilities than air in conducting heat therefore utilizing water as a cooling medium can tremendously reduce energy consumption for circulating pumps in comparison to fans the Suwanapum airport the aviation hub of Southeast Asia has a capacity to handle 45 million passengers per year. Its futuristic passenger terminal complex extends over 500,000 square meters and contains a massive volume of air. Air conditioning system designers found this complex to be a major challenge not only due to sheer size alone, but also because of the great amount of heat entering the space via sunlight, through the glass roof and fabric membrane. Heat from electronic equipment and the bodies of passengers and employees will add even more to this urban heat burden, which an excellent air conditioning system must replace with cold air. With the huge cooling space, the passenger terminal complex at Suwanapum Airport requires an air conditioning system that creates a comfortable indoor environment and optimizes energy consumption. Thus, the hybrid conditioning system, which combine a radiant floor cooling system with a variable volume displacement ventilation system, was developed. The development of air conditioning only the occupied zones have shown that the overall energy consumption has been effectively reduced. Most air conditioning systems rely on the convectional mixing ventilation, which is merely blowing cold air located in the ceiling into a room that requires cooling. The temperature of the supplied air is typically between 12 to 15 degrees Celsius. With sufficient velocity, cold air is mixed with the air present throughout the space. The mixed air temperature is gradually reduced to the required temperature. Displacement ventilation has been developed to improve efficiency and reduce the energy consumption of the air conditioning system. Cool air is supplied from a low level, about 2 to 3 meters above the floor, at a low velocity into space. Gravity holds the cooler air down in the region around occupants as it spreads across the floor. When the cooler air encounters a heat source, the air warms and rises up. This usually discards heat load at about 3 meters and above, eliminating most of the lighting and roof heat load. Furthermore, the low speed of cold air emission does not cause discomfort to the room's occupants. One condition to separate the room into a stratified microenvironment is low air circulation within the room or building. A low rate of emission from a ventilation unit does not disturb the composure of the air. Otherwise, it would result in ineffective temperature control. In the installation process, polyethylene crosslink pipe is used. Polyethylene crosslink pipe is the latest in pipe technology, renowned for its durability and maintenance-free property. The pipe is laid on a metal mesh 
that holds it in place at the desired spot and then on insulated floor to prevent coolness downward transfer. Concrete is then poured over the installed pipe. The water supply, limited to 13 degrees Celsius because of the condensation risk at the radiant floor surface, is circulated through the pipe, bearing away any heat that reaches the floor. The water in the pipe is thereby warmed up to 19 degrees Celsius, after which it then enters a heat exchanger and is recooled to 13 degrees Celsius. The engineers responsible for the radiant floor cooling system at Suwanapum Airport were specially trained by Wurstbro Welterg of Germany to ensure that the design and installation of the system is at its most efficient. To ensure optimum working efficiency, Jardine Matheson Thailand Limited, together with the Mechanical Engineering Department, Faculty of Engineering, King Mongot Institute of Technology, Lad Krabang, have set up a radiant floor cooling laboratory to study the characteristics of radiant floor cooling systems at various conditions. The effect of solar heat, with data on sunlight provided by the Department of Meteorology, and develop the control strategy for radiant floor cooling system. Temperature and humidity were controlled in the laboratory and the intensity of sunlight was simulated using a computer program. The changes in the variables were monitored and recorded over a period of time to derive averages and modify operating conditions of the system for the highest possible efficiency. An important concern of the radiant floor cooling system is condensation, which must not be allowed to take place, neither around the embedded pipes nor on the floor in the building. In a room whose air temperature is 24 degrees Celsius and relative humidity of 55%, condensation can and will occur at temperatures below 14.2 degrees Celsius. Studies have shown that the temperature on floors using the radiant floor cooling system will be around 20 to 21 degrees Celsius, which thankfully is considerably higher than the condensation point. Radiant floor cooling system is among the most efficient energy conservation methods of air conditioning systems. It rapidly absorbs solar heat falling on the floor before being reflected back through the room and it also radiates coolness to the space. The introduction of a floor cooling system cover one part of the cooling process, which leads to a reduction of air changes for the circulating air system, and it also leads to less air handling unit capacity, less demanding of space for cooling ducts, and is less wasteful of energy, and thus providing more room for other important functions. Jardine Matheson Thailand Limited has been engaged in engineering, mechanical and electrical systems for over 70 years. Many important and prestigious projects in Thailand are clear demonstrations of our competence and professionalism. We earned the trust needed to win the bidding for installations in the ultra-sophisticated passenger terminal complex at the Sawanapum Airport by using the latest air conditioning technologies, radiant floor cooling. We were able to install an air conditioning system that is in harmony with the advanced architecture, the tropical environment and the large volume of air to be treated and most importantly the need to conserve energy. We are proud to have been a major part of this project that is a matter of national pride. This radiant floor cooling system is the first of its kind in Thailand and was installed for the first time in the new 
passenger terminal complex of the Sawanapum Airport and we are committed to being first in engineering for all Thailand's projects of tomorrow.